Have you attended this college, but I did my last year. I was studying in the, in the city, in Edward Street, I think it was, and then the, they bought this college and there were a few rooms over the other side, I think. I did my last year here in 1988, I think it was. And uh, so it's strange to be back. Everything's very familiar. I've attended a few seminars over this side as well. But uh, I don't know if you all studied auricular therapy in your TCM training. I can remember learning a little bit of ear acupuncture and uh, being shown some strange charts. And um, it was always an add-on treatment. You, you, you did a bit of acupuncture and you did your TCM and you did your diagnosis and then you found some ear seeds and you pinned pin them on the ear and sent them home. I couldn't really say that I knew that it worked or whether it even did work because we were just guessing shen man, kidney, liver, mouth for addictions and so on with no real concept of why we would do it and how it would work and whether it was really going to do anything. So I um, did that for a while and then I stopped doing it because it didn't make any difference whether I did it or not but it probably gave people something to feel when they went home and thought about it. Um, then in 1995, I think it was, I, I had a chance, I was on the, the board of the Acupuncture Association. I had a chance to uh, invite Mark LaBelle. Did anyone attend his course at all here? We uh, ran some seminars in Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, and in between time he, he taught me a little bit more in my clinic. Uh, he's a world-renowned um, auricular therapist and he studied apprenticed under Paul Nogier, the man who discovered it. So it was quite something to learn. And then I started applying it on and off in my clinic after I learnt it um, for some time. And then, the, you know, there's a belief system change and, and I was still doing it but, with, but thinking this is just something else I'm doing. Until uh, one day a patient came in who had a TMJ problem but she couldn't open her mouth and she couldn't chew and she was pouring her food and drinking it through a straw and had been doing it for some quite long time and uh, she asked can I fix it, can I do anything? I said oh, we'll, we'll approach it from a TCM perspective and I used points above, points below, body points, electroacupuncture, moxa, no results and then it clicked. Why don't I try auricular therapy? And so I went back to what I'd learnt from Mark Lavelle and I had my patient lying on the bed and you hold the pulse in one hand and you check in the ear with the other hand. And there on the, on the side of the ear, around here in the area of the jaw, there were two very active, distinctly responsive points giving a real change in the pulse. I needled those and I said to her, try opening your mouth. And uh, she looked at me and gave me that sort of look, are you stupid? <laughs> and uh, I said, no, give it a try. And, I said, and she did. And her mouth opened. And I was astonished as much as so as she was. You know, it was quite something. In a month from then, after several treatments, she was chewing meat and back to normal life again. She'd been to chirodontists, orthodontists, specialists, surgeons. They didn't quite know what to do. And two points in the ear changed everything. So that was my belief system. I was a convert. Then I got seriously into studying it. I went to France. I went to the symposiums they have in France where Nogier set up his, his headquarters. And uh, I've just been with it ever since and I, and I really enjoy it. It's, it's, a, it's a special treat. It's, um, it's, a, it's a very powerful thing. It, it treats not only pain and that, but because it treats pain, it, it moves blood, it unblocks stagnation, frees chi, but it also treats the spirit. So this is a, an aspect I've been 